Hey friends, today we are back in Detroit for some more arraignments out of the DDC, so Detroit Detention Center. Uh, as always, I am not an attorney. I am not making any legal conclusions, nor putting forth any legal advice. All comments are my opinion, and all persons are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. And as always, if you would like to join my circle of friends, the link is in the description. And of course, if you want to help support Fritz and Luna and their habit, that's down there too. And if you have any tips, any leads on great cases out of Michigan, my email address is also down in the description. It is my name, justcaris at gmail.com. So... Let's get over to Detroit. Gentlemen at DDC, what's your name, sir? I'm the Brown. Jonathan Brown? Okay, Mr. Brown, a magistrate of there. Not only are you here on a criminal matter, but you're also here on misdemeanor matters. Misdemeanor matters where you didn't show up for court. However, you're gonna get personal bond, no dollar amounts on these misdemeanor matters. And I'm gonna let you know what they are. You understand that? Okay, first ticket is P925933, count one, driving under extra on title vehicle. Count two is driving while license not valid or proper license. Count three, driving with alter fictitious registration. The last ticket is X3847211. Count one, driving without ops. No ops for first three years prior, first offense. Uh, that's the only misdemeanor. The maximum penalty on each misdemeanor, sir, it's up to 93 days jail and or $500 fine. Understand that, Mr. Brown? Mr. Brown, what is your full name, including your middle name? Mike Brown. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. I'm going to enter a plea of not guilty. If I didn't say a maximum penalty is up to 93 days jail and or $500 fine. Not guilty. Court date is February 17th, 2023. It is a pretrial in front of Judge Yancey. Mr. Brown, you have a right to remain silent. Anything you say orally or in writing, it could be used again to the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. Have that attorney present during questioning. If you're unable to afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you, court expense. Do you understand that, sir? Okay. Now, criminal matter. Let's go with case numbers 23055235. Please say your full name, sir. Jonathan Brown. I'm sorry, I didn't hear it. Jonathan Brown. Can you please say your full name, including your middle name. I apologize. Jonathan Michael Brown. Thank you, sir. All right, you have an attorney. Go ahead, counsel. Yes, sir. Thank you, counsel. I'm going to enter plea of not guilty. Court dates are January 26, 2023. Probable cause conference, followed by preliminary examination, January 31st, 2023. Both matters are in front of Judge Jefferson. Mr. Brown, while this case is pending, there is no drinking of any alcoholic beverages or possessing any alcoholic beverages. Do you understand that? I understand. Also, sir, there is no driving of any motor mo motor vehicles, and that will include any motorcycles, any mini bikes, any uh, ATVs, any motor um, golf carts, anything else that can be driven electronically. You are not to use or drive. Do you understand that? Okay, counsel. I don't have capious history. I do have prior convictions. Let's see. Narcotics, fleeing and eluding. And let's see what we have. Oh. We have one from 2022. Let's see if that's a firearm. Uh, Mr. Brown, you're not to possess any firearms or any other dangerous weapons. Do you understand that? Okay. Uh, so, uh, counsel, I see he has local ties. 
This is from December 20, December 17, 2022. Go ahead, Esteban Council. Esteban, you're on a 30 year old lifelong resident, John. Has one kid, he does work security, and uh, another job, John, at a factory with a family size of three. He had his child and his girlfriend, he falls well below the 20% property down on the ground. He turned himself in for this matter. Called the police every day after he was um, released from the hospital, and he had to turn himself in. I'm mean, expecting to have to report to the person about him. Council, I don't know. So stand by. I'm reading from the investigator's report that he disregarded a truck control device, which was a red signal, that he T boned another motor vehicle that was going east on Mac. In terms of this is on video. What else? Uh, I see that Mr. Of a point two that was from lab results toxicology from the hospital. Uh, his license had been suspended since 2013. You're on the mask, say something. Please, um, this is the attorney, Brandon Hurd speaking. Okay, okay. I understand. I understand. I got you. Council, I appreciate that he did turn himself in, that he's taken the matter seriously. It doesn't appear to me that he is a flight risk. Uh, the issue is whether he's a danger to the community. DDC? Yes, Jan. Can you confirm that uh, Mr. Brown surrendered? Yes, Your Honor, he did. Okay, thank you. So, counsel, what I'm reading from the investigator's report that your client's license, driver's license, has been expired since June of 2013. And since May of 2015, he's had a total of 29 moving violations that he has a registration denial from August 2021 through indefinite. Counsel, again, tell me about his, does he work? Is there a work history on him? He has two jobs, John. He has two jobs. He has two jobs, but he takes care of his girlfriend and his child. Now, after including his family size, he is below the 20% price. Okay. Let's see this. I'll check one thing else out. So they did a search warrant and they found in terms of his speed is that he went from a minimum of 58 to a maximum of 65 and nothing to indicate that he put on his brakes prior to collision with the other vehicle prior to making contact. And I appreciate that your client surrendered, but counsel in this particular matter, your client is a danger. So he's gonna get an unaffordable court date, I mean, unaffordable bond and his redetermination court date will be Monday, which is the 23rd. Gonna be 9:30 in front of Judge Jefferson. Your Honor, I don't mean to keep talking or like I just I'm running another two or hearing what I'm saying. Like, what do I do if I lose my job? Like, I've I literally been turning myself in for everything that I've been doing, everything way before even this had happened. I called the people multiple times over and over and over again when this happened to get the car back. They kept trying to give me and my girlfriend a problem with the car because they were saying that the car wasn't in my name. It was in her name. I literally been trying to push play on this for a month ago. I walked in the okay. place just like just like my other stuff that's going on on my paperwork. I walked in the places. I, I'm not I'm not a flat yeah. risk or nothing. OK, I, I, but I, I, Mr. I, 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 Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, I hear everything that you're saying. OK, but let me say this. You have not had a license 
from 2013. Hold on, don't say anything, because you've already done. I know that you have turned yourself in, but listen to this. You have not had a license almost 10 years, okay? One, two, okay? There's drinking and driving. Three, okay? You're driving, I understand to get it to a Coney Island, but you are driving at minimum from 58 up to 65. Do not say anything because that is what is coming from the motor vehicle, okay? And then because not only that, but from 2015, 29 moving violations, I understand that you're not a flight risk, but the question is, are you a danger to the community? If you had not been driving, if you had not been drinking, okay, in this particular matter, if you had not been drinking, sir, more than likely, you would not have gone fast. Okay, and then you would not have got into a collision and you have, would have not struck another motor vehicle disregarding a red light and striking another motor vehicle and that person had to go to the hospital. Well, I, now, I so, so Mr. I, Mr. Brown, listen to also this. As a parent, as a parent, you would be extremely upset if your children were walking across the street and somebody struck them and that person that had struck them had been drinking and driving. Ma'am, I, I had just got off so, work. Sir, it doesn't matter that you got off work. You're not supposed to be driving. Understood. You're right about that. Bro, bro, You're right. Bro. I'm sorry. I, I, don't mean, I don't mean no harm. I apologize. I didn't mean to go like that. But I, I literally just came from the right down the street at the corner. Mr. Brown, yes. I really feel for you. I really do. I feel for you. But for whatever reason, sir, is that you were drinking and driving. You struck another motor vehicle. Another person was injured. Seriously enough, okay? This was not a little tap. You did not have the right of way. You went through a red light. All this is on video, what I'm reading. So, no, sir, in this particular matter, please don't say anything more. Please don't say anything more, okay? Bond in this case is going to be $100,000 cash surety. Further, um, GPS tether. Oh. BDC, can you bring Mr. Brown back? I didn't mean to, I wasn't trying to walk away from you like that, ma'am. They asked me to come Okay. On. Okay. Mr. Brown, okay. Um, you're going to get another hearing date Monday. It's going to be at 930 in front of the judge. Okay. And so that judge can make that determination. But right now, what I have in front of me, you are a danger, especially on the road. If, so don't say anything else, Mr. Brown. Please don't. Because if you do, anything you say can be recorded and used against you. The bond is $100,000 cash surety. Okay. There will be a GPS tether. I'm not putting a house arrest on him. He already has a no drinking and the no driving. Counsel, do you want anything else? Uh, yes, ma'am. I, I do understand. I do understand you, but um, I'm asking you to please at least reconsider it, at least with it, with the alcohol test. It will just, just will destroy his life. I'm saying, you know, the potential, the allegations were potential where he could destroy other lives. And I understand your concern about that. But a hundred thousand dollars cash. My 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 client did accept the initiative. You know what I mean? My client my my client my, my client works eighteen hours a day. As he said he works eighteen hours a day. This completely destroyed his life, his, his child's life, and his girlfriend's life. You know? Excuse me, counsel. Brian, counsel. What about the victim that was seriously injured?
that they're, they're driving. They're not doing anything. OK. And yet in the investigators report, your client disregards. OK. A traffic control device. He T-bones the motor vehicle. He has he has had no license for close to 10 years. He's had at least 29 moving violations. And on top of that, he was drinking. So counsel, no, I applaud him and I feel for him. I do, I really do. But he is, I'm not saying he's a flight risk, but he is a danger. He is a danger. And him being on probation, we didn't even get into that. He's on probation for carrying a concealed weapon. And on that, that is, don't commit any other illegal activities. And you know that that means don't go drinking and driving. Don't go, if you don't have a license, you should not be driving. So counsel, in this particular matter, and this is the one that, yes, I feel on this and I feel for your client. I do believe in this case, your client is more of a danger. Not only was he a danger to the other person, but if there was anybody else in his motor vehicle, he was a danger too, because that person could have gotten injured also. Uh, can I please it's say by the grace time. of fate that it wasn't. Mr. Brown, don't say anything, sir. So the bond is going to stay the same, $100,000 cash surety. Uh, no firearms, no drinking, no driving, GPS tether. Anything else, counsel? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Brown. You can step aside. The gentleman at DDC, what's your name? You're going to need to speak up again. Matthew Spicer Brown. Matthew. Matthew Spicer? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mr. Spicer, I'm magistrate in Chattafaya. Not only do you have a criminal matter, you have a lot of misdemeanor matters. These are misdemeanor matters that you did not appear in court. I'm going to let you know what they are. And all these misdemeanor matters are personal bond, no dollar amounts. Do you understand that, sir? Is that a yes? Yes. yes. Okay. First ticket is P1004378. I have... This is a uh, drawing well license suspended. Next ticket is P1034092, count three only, improper plates. Next ticket is P1034094, count one, driving while unregistered, untitled vehicle. Count three, driver's license expired. Next ticket is U2379175, uh, disorderly conduct, unlawful to consume alcohol in public. Okay. Next ticket is U2542615, disorderly conduct. Next ticket is U3072096, Michigan. Um, this is selling bus transfers. Observe the above uh, defendant selling bus passes at bay, placing U.S. currencies placing money in front pocket, misdemeanor. Next one is U4528918, litter, loitering, public area, public private property. Next ticket is U55757720, misdemeanor, alcohol-related violations. Next ticket is U6352810, uh, entering without owner's permission. It's misdemeanor. Next ticket is U6534610, uh, let's see, participating in a game of chance, dice game, misdemeanor. Next misdemeanor is U6636451010, entering without owner's permission. Next ticket is U7351851, misdemeanor, entering without owner's permission. Next ticket is 12444535, uh, appears, let's see, count one. No operator sites on person. Count two is unregistered motor vehicle. Count three is no insurance misdemeanor. Next ticket is 337815. Misdemeanor, open and toxicants, motor vehicle driver. Next ticket is 361601. Next ticket is drive while license suspended. Next ticket is 365656. Uh, count one only, drive while license suspended. 
Last ticket is 464553, no operator's license. Sir, Mr. Spicer, maximum penalty on each misdemeanor, it's up to 93 days jail and or $500 fine. Do you understand that, sir? Is that a yes? <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna enter plea of not guilty. Court date is February 3rd, 2023. It is a pretrial in front of Judge Garrett. Sir, you you have a right to remain silent. Anything you say, orally or writing, it can be used against you in the court of law. You also have a right to an attorney. Have that attorney present during questioning. If you're unable to court an attorney, one will be appointed for you, court expense. Understand those rights, sir? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, criminal matter. Case number is 1904 uh, You have an attorney. Go ahead, counsel. Yes, ma'am. Attorney Bird on behalf of Matthew Spice, my client, plays his right to form a lead to provide the constitutional rights of the family. <sighs> Mr. Spice, I'm going to enter a plea of not guilty, counsel. Court date is February 28th, 2023, pre-trial in front of Judge Bryant. Mr. Spicer. Yes, ma'am. You need to go to court, sir. You're not going to court. You didn't go to court on those misdemeanor matters, on this matter, this criminal matter. On August 10, 2020, a warrant was issued for your arrest because you failed to appear at a prior court hearing. And bond was set at $500, 10%. And Mr. Spicer, I will also indicate for the record that I gave you a personal bond Indeed. back in 2020. And I told you, go to court. You need to go to court, sir. Counsel, in this particular matter, Judge... Uh, Brian has given the court authority uh, to modify his papers bonds because it is just littering. It's over two years. Or close, yeah, it's over two years. Uh, Mr. Spicer, put up your right hand. Okay. Now, Mr. Spicer, I'm going to take you at your word that you're going to go to court next time. Do you understand that? Yes, Okay. When is your court date? February 23rd. No, February 28th. Let me repeat that. February 28th in front of Judge Bryant. February 28th. Hold on. You're changing it again. All right. All right. For later. All right. All right, Mr. Bryant. Mr. Spicer, put your hand down. Put your hand up. Mr. Mr. Spicer, your new court date is February 24th. It's going to be February 24th in front of Judge Bryant. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mr. Spicer, I don't want you to come back. Come back and sit in jail. So please, go to court. Take care of your matter, Okay. Again, bond is going to be $500 personal bond. Okay, thank you, Mr. Spicer. You can step aside. And I'm giving them personal bond because it's non assaultive. And this is two years ago, maybe. Uh, he has a change of heart and he will go to court.